Hello everyone and happy Thanksgiving. Brian and I are having a simple Thanksgiving meal at home this year and we're gonna be taking plates to my sister and brother-in-law. He is sick, so this is gonna be a very simple meal, but we are cooking a turkey. I like to spatchcock turkey and if you haven't seen it before it's where you flatten it out and it's really good because it cooks evenly it all finishes around the same time the breast and the thighs and the legs it stays nice and moist and juicy plus you get a nice crispy skin all over so today I'm gonna do a spatchcock turkey and it'll be too late for you to do for today, but maybe if you're doing a, a turkey for Christmas or next year or whatever, give this a try. It's not that difficult and it cooks really quick. So let's get started with my bird. Now we brined this overnight and I made up my own brine recipe. So I'm gonna take it out of there. And the brine helps keep it nice and juicy and gives it lots of flavor. And of course, very clean hands, very clean sink. We have cleaned, scrubbed it and sanitized I use these large brining bags and they are really heavy duty and they work really well. The cheaper ones just they don't leak. hold up, they leak every time. And officially you're not supposed to rinse your turkey. I always do. But I do have a deep sink, which does help. I'm going to drain that. And I have a wet towel under this cutting board. That helps keep it from slipping. So this is not quite 16 pounds. And it's going to be more than enough for us and my sister and brother-in-law and for leftovers. So now we're going to start cutting this and spatchcocking it. Now, if you have poultry shears, that's best. These are a good pair, but you can use kitchen shears. It's just probably gonna take a lot more muscle. And you just wanna turn it over on its back. And here's the backbone. We're gonna completely take that out. And cut as close to the backbone as you can.
Sometimes it takes two hands. And get rid of these plastic things. You don't need that. So there is one half cut open. Now we're going to go down the other side of the back row. There we go. Got that completely cut out. We're not going to throw this away. This is going to be used to make stock. Right there. And I'm going to drain this cutting board again. it easier to work with. So here we go, it's all cut open. Now we're going to turn it over. Now we're going to splay the legs outward like that. And I'm going to cut off this excess skin flap at the neck. You don't need it. Stuck? Yep, goes in the stock pot. So, this is the part that if you're short, gets tricky. Have this dry just because it'll be easier to do what comes next. Okay, I have a step stool. That makes is much better if you're not a tall person. If you're a tall person, you don't need this. Now we're just going to press down really hard and we're going to hear it crack. Like going to the chiropractor. Yeah, I'm being like a chiropractor. 
adjusting this turkey. And what that does is it helps it just lay flat. And then you'll take the wings and put it under the neck. So here's what it looks like. Just like that. I can probably flatten this a little more. There it goes. All right. Now we're going to season this. And I'm going to keep this very simple today. I'm just going to use olive oil and a mixture that Brian makes up for smoking meats and it's, he calls it SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, but he's got some other stuff in there, so. You wanna turn the turkey over for me, please? Okay, hey, here we go. Whoa! You know what this reminds me of? Alien. The thing that pops up out of the egg and sucks your face? Mm -hmm. That's what that looks like. Oh, I'm glad you like that. It's not going to look Let's like that in a while. Yeah. It's going to dry that out. Yeah. The oil won't stick. No, I'm serious. It does. That's what it looks like. I have a feeling they uh, dressed out a turkey before they decided what that thing is supposed to look like. That could be. the mixture of salt, pepper, and garlic. Let's put that on liberally. Brian just made up a whole bunch of it. Add it in. Okay, you want to turn this over for me again, please? All right, now let's season the top. olive oil and plus the salt that in the mixture is what's going to help make the skin really crispy. So, Love crispy you skin. know what, I think we're going to go ahead and put it on the baking sheet. And I just have a baking sheet, this is a half sheet size, and I have a rack in the fits inside of it. So that's going to hold that turkey up just off the bottom. fits. I'm going to make it work. I have bigger baking sheets, but I'm just going to use this one. So I have my one dirty and one, my one fairly clean hand. And we're going to liberally put salt, pepper, garlic on it. If you have a smaller turkey, it will fit better, but this is 
I hadn't even planned whether I was going to do this. This is almost 16 pounds because I wanted leftovers for turkey tacos. All right, so we've got it well seasoned. And that's what it looks like. It barely fits on the rack. The wings are sticking over just a touch, but we're going to put a bigger baking sheet underneath to catch any drips. So I'm going to let this sit here for 15 minutes to half hour, just to kind of dry out some with that salt. Then we're going to come back and put it in the oven. A full sheet baking sheet on the bottom, it'll catch any drips, especially from the wings hanging over. And I poured about two cups of water in this baking sheet to keep this nice and moist. And I've got it at 400 degrees. You can go up to 425. We're going to let this cook undisturbed for about an hour. And we're looking for 165 degrees Fahrenheit in the breast and in the thigh. So we'll keep an eye on it and we'll let you know how long it takes, but you don't do anything except let it cook. All right, there it is. Doesn't it look beautiful? It took about two and a half hours for this almost 16 pound turkey. And it's 166 in the breast and it's about 185 in the thigh so the thighs got a little bit warmer but it's got this beautiful crispy skin so now we're just going to tint this with foil and let it rest while i make gravy and everything else turkey is done it's rested now we're going to carve it up and it's we just first of all take leg and thigh off of each side. Well, it's just coming right off too. That's done. Oh yes, it is. That's hot too. No, it's not. It's hot, but not super. And then, cut through the joint. Find the joint. I always had problems with the wing. I do. And this is moving around, so it's not as easy as it could be. Yeah. There we go. And now we just cut down next to the breastbone. And this is pretty hot. And this meat, this skin is so crispy. I don't know if you can hear it while I'm cutting. I'm going to cut cross grain on the breast? Yeah. Uh, or you can cut long slices too. I just have to get it off of here. And this is so Juicy. moist. Yep. Look at the juice coming out of this. It is, and this is rested, so this is just the regular juices. So, now I'm gonna take a taste so we can get done and finish and eat. Look at this. Mmm. It's so juicy. Tender. 
I didn't eat the skin, but I know that that part's good. Mm. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Thank you for watching. I hope you give this a try. God bless, and we'll talk soon.